Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And as you can see, I have been busy making a few things, because today, today, not only are we going to make, finally make a new suit, a new jetpack, I need some plates for that. Uh, as soon as the double click works. And, well, it's going to make a new multi-tool as well. Just because we're going to get all that stuff set up, we are also going to go on a bit of a journey. I uh, made some batteries too, just because. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head back up to the north there. Uh, got stuck on something. I got to actually make sure if I have everything I need on me. Uh, I got to. We'll get the basic frames filled in. We'll fill in the rest when that's all done. But we're going to go get a miner set up. Sorry about that. I'm getting a lot of lag today. We're going to get a miner set up over at the cobalt area and see how things go. Uh, excuse me a second. I can't figure it out. I tried changing a few settings, but nothing was working. But what we are going to do today is, I do have everything set up. We're going to start by making a bit of a bit of a swamp boat while I uh, wait for the, my suit to get ready. And that's why I'm going to take, because I have the water going all the way out there. And I'm going to try to recreate sort of like a air blade boosted hovercraft. And we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start with the... My jack here. Let's actually bring that down a bit if I can. And I forgot I'm not in creative where you can just right click it away. Uh, let's get my handy dandy jack tool back. In other words, a short inner wall for me. That should do fine. And we'll start with the batteries. So it's going to be right now four, four hover pads. Uh, unfortunately, I can't actually fly. I don't have enough cobalt to get four air blades going. It's four. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm actually going to have to borrow one of those hover pads because I'm sh two, two Mark II composites short. Uh, but I want to make sure to colorize it so I know which one it was. Now what I want to do is I want to have a hover pad at the front. And then I want to have, I'd like to have two solar panels down each side. Originally that was the idea, was it? No. Uh, just one, but I need to have a gap, and I'm hoping that I hit the right button, there we go, get the container, like so, now the question is, how much room do I have for the hover pad, because, and that is two blocks, hmm, because the solar panel is three. So we're going to stick another layer, row of blocks on there then, or batteries. Uh, technically they're blocks, just the powered variety. One, two, three. And put three containers on the back, which would be six. Uh, I always try to remember where my hotkeys are, so that's why I always get it wrong. Now we don't have to actually look at the keyboard too well. All right, and it's going to be like so. I'm going to need the composite parts. So it's going to be three containers in the back. We're going to put the hover pads on the front and back like so. Like that, and like that. And I'm going to place a small block like so, so I can stick solar panels. And I'm going to use the solar panels as sort of like the lip of the boat itself. So we go like that, and then we have to put a couple more of those triangular blocks, which is lucky number seven. One over there, one there, and go up top. And solar panel number one, yes. I got it without actually looking at the screen. All right, now we get our trusty cockpit in here. That's why this is three wide. I was going to go with the... The little seat, but it has to be built on evens because of the booster. And the booster, I think, should actually fit here. I want to try to keep the try to keep it sort of in line. I don't want it too high or too low because it will cause t have tendency to cause it to flip. So yeah, it's gonna go there. Could probably go back one more, just for aesthetic purposes. Put it right on the container. And I will have to set this to stabilize when I'm done. Uh, I might throw another solar panel on the back. I don't know. Let me get the resources finished, uh, collect it, and we'll finish this up. All right. I should have everything except for this. 
And I'm probably going to go with a gray color on this. I know I use that color quite a bit, but I actually do like it. What can I say? Uh, but just because I had to borrow that one hover pad, we're going to make this one gold and the rest of the entire thing gray. Just because I get glass. Uh, I gotta go make some glass. But our handy dandy tools should be ready too, which means this is gonna be a lot faster. And now I'm hoping that the solar panel will still actually get you know, it's reading sun, so it's not getting blocked by the cockpit, which is good. Anywho, uh, let me get this all finished up and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, it is a new day. I have everything made that I need. I got to double check my shop enough for the miner, but there's our new suit, our new jetpack, and I need a new mouse, as I've said many times before, and my new tool. That's not the right button. That is so. So there we go, Mark II tool, Mark II jetpack giving us a whole bunch more space, and a Mark II suit, which means I'm not going to die right away. I got five minutes. Anyways, uh, that is good, that is good. I made enough to make a couple of circuits. Uh, we need to go into build here, see what I need for this. Two mechanical, three Mark III composites, or Mark II composites. Let's see what I have on me. It's actually... Oh, I took it off the hot bar. All oh, right, I'm actually missing those. Where are they? Uh-oh. Hmm. Did I really use them all? I must have. Uh, let me check something here. Okay, resources ran awfully dry. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take this miner, take that up with me so I can get the cobalt to come back and we'll bring it back of course it's full uh, okay well uh, let me pack this up and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to head off okay we are ready I got everything all set up too uh, you got the, the hover pads are just doing all the, the movement and I think I had steering in the front no I actually forgot to set the steering we'll do that in a second here uh, the air blade is just gonna be for push so I'm going to get that out of my hand, and we're going to go... Actually, you know what? I might actually have that as opposite steering. Uh, let me think here. Yes. Yeah, it gets a little confusing which direction these arrows are supposed to be used for. So I'm going to be steering in the front, and I'm going to be steering in the back with the air blade. Uh, let's see here. So if I push left on that... That should work. Alright, same thing. Uh, gray one is the main power connecting the solar panels to the battery. This is connected. Yes, that is connected to that. And that is going to be power. And I, I'm leaving it on hover mode just in case I stop over the water. I don't have a submarine. Alright, so I am ready. I have enough for batteries. Uh... I set that as for steering, did I not? I thought I did. What did I do here? Oh, it's not going to work that way. Alright, that's fine. That is fine. Zoom out and let's see how it works. Oh, my steering's backwards now. Yeah, it's, it's a little front heavy. But I think that'll be fine. Except for my steering. Let me fix that. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, that should, should be a much better. Yes, it is. Alright, off we go. So I will uh, work my way through the trees. That's why I made this small original. It was going to be like a giant water strider. But I started thinking about the trees and the terrain. And I figured, well, you know, maybe it's not the best time to go with some sort of legged vehicle. It was just going to be a frame. I was going to use basic frames. 
as the legs to try to get them thin. And I just have it on hover pads with the air blade, of course, for extra boost. But this is not working out the way I expected because I put the cockpit far too forward. But anyways, uh, off we go. So I'll bring you back when I'm, I guess, when we're getting close. All right, we shouldn't be there. Should be too much longer to get there. Uh, it took me, it took me a little bit of time to find this ocean. As you can see, it's quite the ocean. There's nothing to see as far as you can see. Uh, but we're doing a pretty good pace, about 46 kilometers an hour. Uh, trying to get here the first time is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. But next time we come here, we'll be definitely up there and not skimming across water. But at least I'm not walking this time. But we should be here soon. Uh, I was going to try to build some sort of little, little, little thing for the mining house. But... I forgot to bring the plates with me. I think I've got like 60 plates on me and I still got to make the miner and the container and solar panels and batteries and whatnot. But uh, I do have a bit of an idea. I was talking about uh, me rebuilding BCP labs, but I uh, want to make it more functional. Uh, not only am I going to have a lot of, you know, oddball inventions going on, but I want to sort of have it as like a main production facility. And each one of these mining spots I go to are going to be, you know, basically specializing in one thing. I'm going to have one spot for cobalt, one spot for aluminum, one so spot for silver up in the north here. And I'm going to do the same for the titanium, gold, uranium, and xanite down around the equator. I think this might be it. Yes, we should be getting close. Uh, but I also want to have some sort of transportation... transportation transportation system with sort of auto exchanging containers right I lo load the vehicle up I hit a button it pops out one container puts the full container or pops out the empty container into the system returns the full container into my vehicle whatever I make and I take it to the lab and I drop it off and it goes into a sort of like a holding area slash storage slash supply room sort of deal and then I have my printers set up that are producing stuff and I'll put it into a container sort of deal well, that's my idea I don't know how far I'm going to get with that and how complex it's going to be but it's going to be an interesting project I might even try to work it in with the, the monorail network uh, like I said I have been thinking about uh, switching stations and I think I have an idea of what I can do you know there's so much you can do with these little blue rings it's unbelievable you know it's just how you got to use them now one thing i noticed with this is i gotta take the boost off when i hit these little islands or i go i go and i go ass end up uh, yes we are getting biome change here but this isn't bad i like i like this little thing it's gets the job done I, like i said the cockpit could have been one block back maybe even put the air blade back a little bit too but it works I do have enough to make a beacon. Where should I set this up? Let's go down here, see what else we got. Because I want to make sure I can actually find this place again. It's not like Ashton here where there's only a certain number of places you can land. No, we got a huge planet to work with. And yeah, I'm on the largest size, which I think is 48 kilometers circumference. Not circumference, uh, diameter. I think I'm on 24 kilometer radius. It's a pretty big planet. I think I worked it out to something like 7 million square kilometers of surface area. Insane. Well, what I want to do is I want to... Hold on for that autosave. Uh, I want to look for sort of like an island that's away from the mainland to set this up. So I don't, that way I don't have to worry about the locals and the good dillos sneaking up on me. It has gotten cold though, as you see bottom left there, we're down to minus four. Uh, my vitals should be okay. Just because I got the new suit. Let's have a look here. This might be a good spot to check out. Let's drop a miner, shall we? Let's get out of here, get out of there. And I'm gonna turn you off. Oh, 
Oh goody, things bounce again. <sighs> Let's see if I can flip this thing over. No, I can't. Not that way. I think I have enough to build a winch. Let's try to fix this thing. Uh, yada yada yada. I know. Okay, put that there. I guess I should finish that up. I don't think the shackle will actually it'll actually connect. And a good old winchy boy. Uh, oh, there we go. And we'll put you there. And I'm starting to get that jitteriness again. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to save. Because you never know. All right, now where is that switchboard? Uh, I'll grab you. Oops. Grab you. And we'll connect you to you. Oh, please don't do this to me. Nope. Nope. <sighs> Thank you. Reminds me of the old days. I'm going to leave that shackle there because I don't trust it. Now I'm hoping... Let's get that out of my face. Let's go up to here. Let's, let's get a miner down and see what we're dealing with here. Okay, and let's just borrow you for a second. All right, and we are all 1%. All right, I guess I should do a little prospecting first. There we go. Now it's going to be something right there. I set up a new hot bar and don't even use it. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, that's the wrong one. You to there. 43, 43. That silver is still pretty low, though. But it's going to get me the silver, so I'm going to shut all this stuff. We can get the titanium and the uranium and the gold down in the, in the equator. And so now we throw... Let's put two of them on there, I guess. Or three of them. If we put them on the right way. Let's go with a six on this bar. One. Two. Three. Now to set up a little bit of a power plant. Uh, what was it? I was going to set up four batteries and one solar panel. I think they use 250, 200. Okay. Uh, let's see if, see if I can do six batteries. Two, three, four. Yes, I can. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and disconnect you. Get a switchboard. And place you like so. And I need a solar panel. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter which way the sun goes, so I'll just stick a flat one on the ground. Like so. Fill that in. And hook that up. And. Yeah, yeah. Hooking up the batteries actually helps. Mm. And now I'm hoping that this actually, these filters actually stay because I know they used to reset. So now I'm going to have a quick nap and we'll see what we have in the morning. If I have enough to actually build this. <sighs> Electronic parts. Uh, hmm. Four batteries are good enough. Or five batteries. And I'm going to connect you just in case. How oh, nice my vitals go up. Still bloody cold though. As long as it keeps me alive in here, it's all that really matters. 
And we'll get up in the morning. And we'll grab our shiny blue rocks. There we go. Only three silver, but that's fine. Uh, that's what I came for. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take this apart. And we'll place the battery back, which I believe is five. Connect the U up, and now I need to get a third person, which I can't actually do here. And I'll place a solar beacon. Just so I know where to go. And that is going to be navigation on with a C. In fact, let's actually rename this. Cobalt. Alright, let us... Actually, I think maybe I should stay off of this when I turn it back on. Oh, I guess I disconnected that, did I? Yes, I did. Alright, I have my cobalt, I have my aluminum, and I am heading back home. So, I shall see you there. Okay, I am finally back. It wasn't exactly the easiest task. I decided to stick around for a little bit to try to get a little more silver, because the silver output on that miner is not that great. Not that we need a whole lot of it, but uh, we do need them for the air blades. As long as I have enough to fly back there, because I'm not taking this thing all the way back out there and back again. But as long as we can fly there, then we'll be we'll be golden. Now we'll be able to get another silver miner set up out there somewhere. Uh, things weren't actually staying set like, like they were, and so yeah, I had to reset the miner. It could have been because it ran out of power or something. I'm not 100% sure. And surprisingly, this thing didn't actually drop on me when I had to recharge it because I actually ran out of power because the solar panels weren't getting anything but I noticed it doesn't bounce anymore and I'm wondering if it's because I still got the shackle on there it's not giving that surface to bounce off of but there we go there is our haul I got seven whopping silver and the only thing I'm wondering about the silver uh, it helps if I always get the right button and I never do but I actually want to see how much these green circuits are because we need four of them for an air blade which was there. Yeah, four of them for one air blade, and one of those is two silver. So I got seven silver there, and I have two silver there. That gives me nine, which means I can make two more air blades so we can get at least some sort of air transportation going for the next one. But there we go, that is it. We have. Cool. We have everything we need to start making lots and lots of hover pads. Because the hover pads we don't actually need silver for. We need, just need Mark II frames, Mark II plating, which is aluminum, cobalt, and carbon, I think. And the Mark II composites. Now, Mark II composites are. Aluminum and cobalt, which I have plenty of, that's what we went there for, and carbon. And carbon we got in the back once we get the miner going again. We don't need, actually need circuits for the miner. And these, like I said, just need the silver. It's the only thing we need the silver for. Uh, that is cobalt, iron, and carbon. And that is cobalt, or aluminum, iron, and carbon. So we are good on that front. So that is that. Uh, we don't actually really need anything else. It's the only thing we need the xanite and the gold for. We do need silver for them, but yeah. But that's the only thing we need that for is conveyor connectors and the water pump. And oddly enough, they actually do have the water pump gated behind those things. Actually, it was uh, mechanical alloy part parts. This is the only thing we need the, the quantum electronic parts. That and the conveyor connectors. But that's sometime down the road. We still have to find our way to the desert eventually, which is going to be that way. Uh, let me see how long I've been recording this one. All right, we got a few minutes left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start getting stuff pre-produced. So we're going to load up some iron, load up some carbon, 
some cobalt and aluminum. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, that's all the good in there. So we'll go ahead and we will make. Uh, we'll make fifty for now. Actually, I need these two. Need those for the cobalt. That needs biomass. Uh, that's what we got to do. Let's actually take care of that right now. Let's get a greenhouse. Uh, what do I need for them? I'll go with the large greenhouse. Oh, silver. Go figure. I'm actually wondering what the difference between the uh, large and the medium is. Uh, let's find out, shall we? That's the wrong button. Thank you. Only in this game can you walk through a door with a giant greenhouse in front of you. Glass and mark one. All right, so here is the large greenhouse, and since I have the batteries and my new tool, may as well use them. All right, so this is the large greenhouse, and it's going to tell me what I need because it needs power, and that's not the button. I'll do that, and so that is all you give me. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So that's actually not bad. Five fruit for one seed now, and two biomass. Oh, good, they changed that because it was like a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, now I want to see what the small one offers. Like, is there really not big of a difference between them? Besides the fact they need more composite parts. Which will only take a few seconds here. But this is good. Definitely have production up and running now. Uh, go ahead and make two of those. And we'll skip it ahead of Q. Uh, yeah, so, got that going. Uh, we're going to... Next one, we're going to get airborne somehow, some way. And we're going to head back out there. And we're going to get some proper mining set up for... Okay, I was wondering where the green circuits were. I realized I already have them on there. Uh, so we get some better cobalt, aluminum, and silver production going. I will actually try to find areas that are, have more of like one specific resource. So... If the filter ever does fail, at least I'll be able to have a majority of the one thing in that container and not have to worry about sifting through all the the excess stuff. Okay, so the turnout is just different. Uh, fair enough. So we have a food. In fact, I'm going to get this going to make super food. Maybe even see what do we need for the super food here. Oh, we need to make meat. But nutrition capsules are good, too. Almost as good as the superfood. Well, that is good. So that is good to know. I just got to get a good supply of carbon going. Uh, we might even have to get a water pump going. Let's actually do that. Just because. I know I can gather water, water by myself since you gather five at a time, but... I'm lazy, what can I say? Oh, we need silver for that. Hmm. Alright, well, we're saving silver then. Until we come back. Because I need this to get airborne. Might not be able to fly too well, too, but three air blades. Well, we should be able to come up with something. But anyways, we're going to call this one here. I got some plates and frames going. I'll probably get some more of these going as well. I don't know how many I can get, but get us something. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.